Go go ahead, Alex. That's right. So, um, uh, so we just heard uh, from Avalanche uh, a very exciting talk. Hope that all of you uh, find that interesting. Uh, so there are uh, seven features that he announced today, and uh, so we were very excited about these features. And so uh, this is really a more, more or less an interactive session. Uh, so I wanted to start off uh, by showing you the last feature that he talked about and briefly tell you what it is. Um, and uh, along the way, if you have any questions, please feel free to just you know, raise your hand or yell out loud, whatever it is. So I think uh, there is a new section uh, and a new era in Google Analytics uh, where we are surfacing a series of reports called the Intelligence Report. So, Yesterday, I was driving to my hotel, and I noticed that we're actually very close to the Pentagon. And uh, that surprised me, and I said, wow, how, how apt it is that we are announcing Google Analytics intelligence in, uh, in so close to the Pentagon. So here it is. Uh, the report uh, has three separate uh, sections. Uh, there is the daily alerts, weekly alerts, and monthly alerts. What these are, these are uh, alerts that are, that are uh, automatically triggered based on averages over a monthly basis, weekly basis, or daily basis. And so from a monthly basis, uh, the default it has to show you 13 points covering exactly one year and one day of your last year's uh, traffic. And all of this is done retroactively. So you get this automated uh, alerts uh, for your data from the beginning of time, if you may. Uh, so what, what are we looking at? Uh, so as I've pointed out, uh, so there are uh, uh, both custom alerts and automated alerts. When you click on uh, automated alerts, you see a series of bars. And these are bars that indicate how many alerts that have been triggered for a particular sensitivity <coughs> that you have defined. So generally, what we recommend people do is they first define, they first lower the sensitivity so as to see the most significant event first. I notice that my, uh, my browser here has a bit of an issue. So let me, uh, let me use another browser. Using? Another browser. Yeah. I'm, sorry? Using I'm using Chrome. I'm using Chrome, yes. yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make issues with Google Chrome? I'm sorry? You're going to make issues with Google Chrome? No, I, I don't have a problem with, with Chrome at all. Chrome is a fantastic. <laughs> 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 Um, so, uh, uh, while, while we're waiting for the very slow Firefox, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me briefly mention that. So, as you go from uh, daily, weekly, and monthly, you basically get to see different granularity of the various uh, intelligent alerts that have been triggered. And when you get to the daily level, you know, many of you would imagine that, hey, wouldn't that be very noisy? Because my Friday traffic is probably very different from my Saturday traffic. So it turns out that the automated alerts that we are surfacing uh, does something very intelligent. It actually does seasonality adjustment, weekly adjustment, and uh, time of year adjustment. So that when there is a bump, it actually say, is this bump odd compared to a week ago, compared to last year at this time? So it's a very intelligent set of algorithms that are being patented. That, uh, uh, so let, let's take a look at one of these. So uh, uh, the account I'm using is a, uh, a store called googlestore.com uh, where you can get uh, Google insignias. So here we go again. Uh, so, uh, so the idea here is uh, as I switch down the, as I tune down the sensitivity, I can pick any particular day uh, since the beginning of time really. And I say, hey, is there any significant events that I should be looking at that the unknown unknowns, right? Are there things that I didn't know about, but I should be paying attention to, that I did not know about? And so here, here's a whole series of uh, uh, alerts that have been triggered. For example, let me just pick uh, this day, October 11th. Uh, I, have, I have not looked at this data before, right? So I'm just looking at this for the first time. And with the sensitive tap tuned down really low, I noticed that, uh, well, a number of things. Uh, my Illinois traffic 
So for some reason, I expect usually to have zero dollar made during this period. So Google has no offices in Illinois, with the exception of its sales office in Chicago. And so generally people who come to buy Google Store products are Google employees. So on this day, for some reason, my, uh, my gold has uh, expected value is zero, but I'm getting a uh, $30 on this day. Okay? So if I click on this, so I actually now show you the, actually, the time series of data that get triggered. Now notice that because my alert is set at it's a bit very low, only the big pump showed up. If I actually dial this up, my sensitivity for the, these other ones will also show up too. Yeah? Uh, so on this day, for example, if I uh, look at uh, another example, my YouTube.com referral traffic, for some reason or another, has spent 33% more than what I expected, according to a time series estimate algorithm that we are uh, counting. Yes, is sensitivity equivalent to like your alpha level when looking at this? So is the significance bar going to go up as your sensitivity has increased? So you're definitely a very technical person. So let me, let me describe, <laughs> let me first describe in a non-technical way, then I'll describe in a technical way. Sensitivity is like when you're being sensitive to your spouse. <laughs> <laughs> think, about, think about this one. When sensitivity is low, <coughs> but then the amount of uh, what you call it, uh, favors, the amount of kissing that you do with your spouse generally decreases. So think of the intelligence uh, alerts that we're sending out are the special attention, the special acts that you give to your spouse. Yeah? When the alert sensitivity is low, the number of alerts, so check this out, right? When, when alert is low, the number of automated uh, intelligent alerts is also low. When the sensitivity is high, you're a very sensitive guy, so in that case, take a look. You get a lot more kisses. That explains it. <laughs> so another way to look at this is uh, the technical explanation. So sensitivity here is actually a uh, standard deviation threshold. And uh, when the standard deviation is low, so, so I'm giving the technical explanation. I just gave the Avenach version of the explanation. <laughs> so the, the, the technical explanation is, when the sensitivity is low, it is at least, uh, it has to be at least seven standard deviation from the expected calculation. Yeah? Plus or minus seven? Uh, yes, when, when the sensitivity is very, very low. So generally, you know, it's more than, why seven? It is more than six sigma. Yeah? So just just as, uh, as a check that these algorithms uh, work pretty well. Check this. Uh, we are starting uh, a lot of uh, 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 the conversion rate for English traffic. I think this is. That what I click on. All of a sudden, jump. So check this. So it's of course detected. Okay, so that this is the intelligent feature. Um, any questions I can, I can answer? When does it roll out? Uh, it is being rolled out, actually it's already been rolled out uh, last week to all of our VIPs. And uh, this starting this week, um, there are uh, there, there is a uh, roughly, uh, let me say, 1% uh, of you will see it this week. And then over the next couple of weeks, uh, Probably in three weeks' time, this will be available to everyone. Mm -hmm. okay, can you sign up for the booth? Oh, yes. yes. Uh, you can sign, sign up to, to become a VIP. Oh! By going yeah. to the booth. Yeah. And uh, you can sign, sign up for this feature. Yeah. 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 You can sign up for uh, this and uh, uh, and four, four features. Yeah, you can sign up for the new uh, custom reports, uh, custom, me, custom variables, the alerts, which is about, about to show. The intelligence feature. Um, I think that's more, yeah. that, that, that could be one more. Advanced filtering. I'm sorry. Goals. Table filtering. What about table filtering? Should be out to everybody mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. 